Welcome everyone to a brand new Let's Play. This is Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. This is one of my absolute favorite games. It's an RPG that's based off of the Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 rule set, but if you're watching this I'm going to assume you already know that, so let's get started. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be starting from the very beginning from the prelude of the um, main campaign. I'm going to be creating my own character. Now, I had searched around for a bit on, you know, builds that I could have used, but to be honest, I just kind of want to jump in and decide it as I go along, so I'm just going to start with a wizard, and I'm planning to go for Pale Master, so I'm hoping that my build won't suck. So let's see what And I'm just going to choose the package here because I'm kind of lazy. Alright, let's choose what he'll look like. I think I'll just take this guy. No, we're not going full body tattoos. Now let's get fat. Choose some dark clothing for him. Even though we get armor pretty much right off the bat. Eh, that looks good. Hair color will be white. Or, that doesn't look very good. All of these are terrible. Eh, that looks fine. Could use his pale skin, could use a pale master. Get on them! Good. Attack, I say! I'm gonna be calling him Savia Darius. And he's going to be my age, 23 years old. Uh, let's see what we got for voices here. By my direction! Attack! By my will, attack! Attack! Kill them now! <laughs> Their time has come. Destroy them all! I want to see suffering. Yeah, that sounds about right. And my deity is going to be Neryl. If you're not familiar with D&D lore, he is the hater of life. He is a neutral evil deity. Now let's get started. The frozen. Now, for some reason the cutscenes are broken in my game. I can't view them, so I'm just going to be skipping them. Let's open this chest. Get a club. Not very useful. Kind of ridiculous about uh, organizing my inventory. Oh, that's a cleric's robe. That's strange. All this crap that I'm not even going to use. No, I'm not talking to you yet. About four gold. That's a lot, man. Jeez. What do I get for spells to start off with? I already have magic missile, so I can just sell that scroll. And protection from alignment. Hey there. I want to talk to you. Do I have sleep? No, I don't. But since I'm a wizard, I can choose to scribe that scroll. So, let's learn that. Already got that. 
I don't know what weapon I should be using. I guess it would make sense to use a crossbow. Stay away from them. Hey there. I want to do have to you. the proficiency for that, don't I? Let's see here, weapon proficiency wizard. Light crossbow, yes, I do have it. So let's go talk to Pobble. Finally, you're up. I was afraid you were going to sleep all day. I guess the instructors work you pretty hard here at the Academy. Oh, yeah. My name's Pavel. I'm one of the new recruits. I just arrived here at the Academy this morning. Is it true what they say about you? That Lady Arabeth herself ordered the Academy to send you an invitation to come here for training? I've never heard of anyone being invited to train at the Academy before. Usually people are begging to get in. It must be a great honor for, honor for you. Let's see here. When you have as much talent and skill as I do, you get used to these kind of honors. You're pretty full of yourself. Hope you have the skills to back up that confidence. But for some of us, things don't come that easy. My brother Bim and I were working on one of the nearby farms outside the city when we heard the Lady Arabeth had put out a call for heroes to come to the aid of Neverwinter. We knew the city was suffering, but we didn't realize how bad things were until we got here. We arrived just before they sealed the gates and quarantined the city. Thank the gods I got accepted into the academy. I wouldn't want to be out there on the streets with the plague, not with the city guards barely able to keep the order anymore. I'm not really interested in chatting with you. Yeah, I guess you want to get on with your training. Well, good luck, Sage. Who knows? Maybe the next time we meet, those rumors of a cure for the Wailing Death will turn out to be true. Don't forget to say hi to my twin brother Bim over there by the door on your way out. I don't care about your twin brother Bim. I saw you talking to my brother Pavel. My name is Bim. If you want, I can give you a short tutorial on adventuring. Yeah. Suit yourself. You should go through this door and speak to Olgerd then. He'll get you set up with all the equipment you need to finish your training here at the Academy. Get yourself some supplies from old Olga, have you? Good idea. Can't have you wandering about the streets naked. <laughs> Might give the Academy a bad name. The city guard are already having enough trouble maintaining control as it is. Plague bodies piled a dozen deep in the gutters. The wailing death running unchecked through the districts. Horrible, I say. But you've heard this all before, I'm sure. Here, I've got some equipment for you. A wizard like you might find it handy in completing your training. Now, if you're ready, I'll give you a tutorial on how to access your inventory so you can use that equipment I just gave you. Now, I already know how. I've played this game too many times already. Oh, this might be a good time to teach you how to use the stores in the game. Ah, I have some items here you might want to purchase. Since you're part of the Academy, you get a special discount rate. Ooh! Alright, let's see what he's got. He gave me a robe of fire resistance, which is pretty nice earlier in the game, so I'm gonna sell the crap that I was given. I might keep that club just in case, you know, in case I run out of ammo. But other than that, I think I'm good. I don't really have any money to buy anything anyway. students here at the Academy, aren't you? No, I'm just wandering around here for no reason at all. It's about time you showed up, recruit. My name is Herban, but as far as your worthless hide is concerned, you can just call me Sir. It's my job to teach you raw recruits some tips on combat techniques so you maggots don't get gutted out there in the real world. Well, recruit, don't just stand there with that dopey, ex dopey expression on your face. What's it going to be? Are you ready to begin your combat training, or aren't you? I already know everything I need to know about combat. I 
I don't need to take the combat drills. There's really no point. It doesn't give you any experience or anything. So let's go into the mage training room and meet Jeru. Hey there. Welcome to my little corner of the academy. I'm Jeru, resident master of the arcade. It's more a ceremonial title than anything else. I'm really just your run-of-the-mill wizard. Oh, don't give me that crap. No doubt you have come here to complete your training. Wow, well, you've come to the right place. Nobody at this institution knows more about teaching you apprentices magic than me. Oh, wow, are you... You fooled yourself. Consider this a final tutorial on casting spells before you face the mage's challenge. Are you ready to begin? Yes. To prepare a spell you have... Uh, I already know this. Alright, so basically I just have to destroy this statue in the center of the room with any spell I want. I'm not gonna waste a melt sensor arrow on that, so let's go throw a magic missile at it. Congratulations! You have shown great control of your magical abilities. Speak to me before you leave. Your training is done. You should go to a South Assembly Hall to receive a blessing and congratulations from Lady Arabeth. Alright, and he gave me a ice rod, a rod of frost rather, for completing my training. It's a rather nice uh, rod because it has unlimited uses per day, so I'm going to be binding that to my, my uh, quick bar here. So let's go see Arabeth. I just noticed something, you know, my portrait is a bald man and I've got a, a beard here. <laughs> now that you've finished your training, you can go on into the South Assembly Hall if you... Alright. Congratulations! Your training here at the Academy is now complete. May the blessing of Tear be upon you. I have been looking forward to meeting you. The instructors here at the Academy speak very highly of your skills. Well, I am I Lady like Erebeth de Tilmerand. Perhaps after the graduation ceremonies we can speak in private. Neverwinter can use someone like you. We should really arrange to... Wait! What was that? Did you feel it? Brace yourself, we are under attack! For a spell to create a cure could be extracted from them. We tried to keep this information secret, but this attack reveals our secret is well known, even to our enemies. Rumors spread more quickly than the plague itself, or so it would seem. But what is done cannot be undone. We must focus on the task at hand. Neverwinter has many enemies. Some declare themselves openly, such as the city of Luskin. Others keep their identities hidden from us, striking from the shadows. I do not know who is behind this attack, but it is obvious they are here to destroy our hope of ending the Wailing Death. That sounds like a personal problem. You must protect the Waterdavian creatures. They must not be allowed to fall into the enemy's hands. Where can I find these I would these take creatures? you to the creatures myself if I could, but I fear my presence would make protecting the creatures more difficult, if not impossible. Our attackers appeared here in this room. 
It is likely their arrival was magically centered on me. They must have assumed I would be with the Watadavian creatures. Even now, our enemy may be watching me through magical means, hoping I will lead them right to where the creatures are kept. I cannot take that risk. You must do this alone. Go back through the hallway leading to this room and take the corridor to the east. It leads to the chambers where the Watadavian beasts are being kept. Why should I the listen to you? The lives of thousands of innocent people hang in the balance. If the creatures are lost, a cure for the Wailing Death will be lost with them. But if that is not enough to garner your loyalty, know that you will be greatly rewarded if you manage to save the Watadavian creatures. I'll do it, but the reward better be worth the trouble. Take this key. It will open the locked east door back in the hallway leading to this room. I will stay here. Hopefully my presence will draw the enemy away from the creatures they seek. Hurry! Make your way into the hall and then to the chambers down the east corridor. That is where the Watadavian beasts are kept. The fate of Neverwinter depends on you. This key will open the door. May Tyr be with you. Her tone changes a lot. She must be bipolar or something. Let's just quickly create a save slot here. And I'm going to summon my familiar before I go into the hall. Ooh! It chooses... I think it chooses your familiar randomly if you go with a pre-made package. I was hoping to get something good. And it looks like I did. What's this? I was expecting Alibeth. Oh, you know what I Well, let's see how you taste the pain! Don't you kill my doggy. Now the thing that's really overpowered about uh, familiars is that if you're not in combat, you can feed them to fully heal them. I'll attack this one and you attack... Where's this attack button? I guess you can just attack the nearest... Ah! Well... Help me, Dougie! Oh, you weren't very much help for it. A ring of fortitude. Three potions of cure light wounds. Oh, hey, Pablo. Thank the gods you're here. I thought those goblins were going to be the death of me. It's me, Pablo, remember? This whole place is crawling with enemies. They killed my brother Bim. Please, Sagi. You have to let me join up with you. I don't have to. Everybody needs help from someone once in a while, someone with skills you don't have, or sometimes you just need some extra muscle or magical firepower. That's why most towns have places you can go to to hire henchmen to come join up with you. When you talk to them, they'll be quick to offer their services for a fee. But I'm not asking you to pay me anything, I just want to join up with you so I can avenge Bim's death and maybe get out of here alive. Okay, I'm gonna need a meat bag to take all the hits for me. Let's go. I think I can actually have my familiar um, open stuff for me. Yeah, I can. Send my doggy after me.
second window here. Malachite. Many fierce enemies await you beyond this door. You will need to draw upon all you have learned here at the Academy to survive. Ooh, level up. Alright, so we're going to take another level of wizard because we do need level 3 spells before we can become a Pale Master. Um, I'm just going to stick to the default build. See what it recommends. Burning hands and charm person. Let's see what else is available. Because as far as spells go, I don't really like to stick to the whatever they suggest. I like to pick my own. But it looks like that's probably the best suggestion for this level. Yeah, that looks like it's good. I'll keep my Hellhound. I don't really care what his name is. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to rest before I can summon him again, but there are enemies nearby, so I guess I'm on my own for a little while. I always thought that was kind of dumb. You can get them, Pobble. Yeah, Pobble! You useless jerk. I don't need those. Potion of bull strength. I'll take it, but I don't really see why I would need that. I guess I could give it to my henchmen. I'm going to keep healing items and such in this window. In fact, I'll keep all potions and such in this window. For now. Skeletons. Well, yeah, it looks like they fall pretty easily. Got a corpse here. Let's take his stuff. Ghostly vis visage visage spell. This I might actually want to scribe because it's a pretty good spell. Oh, I can't learn that spell yet. I think it's a level 2 spell, so I'll have to wait. Sleep, color spray, summon creature, and mage armor. Mage armor I will learn. What level spell is this? Color spray, it's a level one spell. Oh, I'll learn that one too. Like like I did in my in my playthrough of Arx of Talus, if you want to read these you can just pause the video and read them, but I'm not going to sit here and read all this because that would make my playthrough take absolutely forever. So
Besides, you can find the text from all these books on the wiki if you want. Dragging your ass. Just stick to the wall here so nothing notices me. And there's some bolts here. Let's use those. Now let's see what I'm you've going got. To cast Cast Ray of Enfeeble. No, that's strength damage, so that's not really going to help me here. I'll try to cast Scare on the Mysterious Mage, though I doubt it's going to work. Let's see what oh, you've got! You scared. So he's pretty much just stuck standing there while I shoot at him. Uh, he made his will save, so... But he's dead, so... A floor spar. Pronounce that. Wand of sleep. That could come in handy. Um, I'm gonna rest so I can summon my familiar again. find my uh, trying to figure out how to bind the possessed familiar but I don't need to do that oh right I forgot to prepare my new spells uh, I'll prepare one burning hands because I need some damage spells and I'll prepare another daze. And I'm gonna rest again. Alright, let's go see what's in this room. 
Oh, there's a bunch of goblins here. As if I didn't know yet. No, no, no. I did. So, uh, I'm gonna cast the burning hands on this goblin here. are lost the academy students slain no this cannot be how could this happen you're a failure you should kill yourself all is lost Fenthic. the nymph has fled the auntie and the other creatures have escaped into the streets of the city and where was arabeth during all this i have come from lady arabeth she sent me to protect the creatures you were the student she sent did arabeth really think of a whelp such as this could defend the water davian creatures she should have come herself. Is she really so blind, Fenthic? Dester, I would have I will have you speak no more ill of Lady Arabeth. She did what she thought was best. Bah! I know the feelings you and Lady Arabeth have for each other, but it does not it does nothing to change the facts. She was wrong to bring the creatures here. I will leave you and your lady love to clean up this mess, Fenthic. I must go and make arrangements to recover the cure Arabeth is so carelessly lost. I need to speak to you. I owe, I owe you my life, Sage. Without you, I wouldn't have made it out of here. I I could have died, just like my brother. You've got what it takes to be a great hero, Sage. You may be even a legend, but this life isn't for me. I know that now. Goodbye. Thank you once more for saving me. I know you'll be a great hero someday, but I don't want to risk my neck for fame and fortune. I'm no I'm hero. No hero. No. I just want a nice, quiet life. I doubt our paths will cross again anytime soon. Goodbye, and good luck. You must forgive, Dester. The strain of the Wailing Death weighs heavily on the Hellmites. As their leader, Dester has worked long and hard to help ease the suffering of Neverwinter. And I this bet. most recent setback has upset him greatly. I'm Fenthic Moss, priest of Tyr and companion of the Lady Arabeth. You must be the student Arabeth told me about. Dester and I arrived with reinforcements shortly after the attack began. We found Arabeth in the South Assembly Chamber, hard pressed by dozens of the mysterious assailant, assailants. We managed to drive off the attackers and Arabeth told us she had sent one of the students on ahead to defend the Water Davian creatures. While Arabeth tended to the wounded, one of the mages who had arrived with the reinforcements teleported Dester and me into this room. Alas, we arrived to find the cages upturned, the creatures fleeing. So what happens now? A few straggling goblins are all that remain of the attackers, but I fear we have lost this battle. The water Davian creatures are gone. We have no clues as to who planned the attack, and I doubt any prisoners we, we take will know anything about who is tr truly behind this. In any case, discovering their identity is secondary. Our first priority must be to recapture the water Davian creatures so that they may, we may extract a cure for the Wailing Death. Arabeth promised, promised me a reward earlier. I'm still waiting for it. I have no doubt Arabeth's offer was sincere, sincere, but the creatures are gone, Sage. You cannot expect a reward for failing. Understand that I am not trying to lay blame that will not change what has happened, but now we must focus our efforts on recovering the, the cure. I will help you in this task, Fenthic. From all accounts, you are a capable man, Sage. Arabeth told me the instructors at the Academy spoke very highly of you. I do not care what role you are to play in this, Sage. That is from the Lady Arabeth to decide. You must meet her at the Halls of Justice in the coming week. Lady Arabeth will have more information for you then. Hopefully we'll have a better understanding of what we are up against. We must do all do our part, Sage. I will meet you at the Halls of Justice within one week then. There is much to attend to in the coming week. Arabeth and I will meet you at the temple. May Tyr's blessing be upon you, sir. And we've leveled up. It recommends Brew Potion. And I don't know if I want to take this. But... 
I've never really used that feat before, so let's go with it. And no, I'm not going to take ghostly visits because I have a scroll for that. So let's see, what else could I take? Death armor, that sounds promising for a necromancer. A magical aura surrounds the caster, injuring creatures that touch it. Any creature striking the caster takes 1d4 points of damage plus 1 point per two caster levels. Well, that sounds pretty good. I'll take that. And ghoul touch. Alrighty. Let's prepare our new spells, and then I guess I'll be done with this episode. Alrighty, well I'm going to leave it off here. This has been a pretty long episode, longer than I usually record for, so I'll see you all next time.